Look, my Christmas tree's all lit up. That's so cute. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing my Cyber Monday haul video, plus a little bit of extras that just kind of like snuck in there throughout the last couple weeks, but I thought you would appreciate me throwing them in there. It is a ton of ColourPop. Just letting you know, I've been obsessed with ColourPop lately, so yeah, let's get right into it. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, go tell your friends so we hit those thousand subscribers. Comment down below what kind of videos you guys want to see, and don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Alibaba Makeup, and see what is happening in my daily life and all the pictures I am posting, yeah. So let's just get started. All right, first in our stocking, we have some Juvia's Place. You guys know I just started, I bought my first thing, which was the Warrior palette, and now I bought my second palette for $11 on Black Friday, or no, Cyber Monday. And this is the Nubian palette. I also put this in my favorite palettes video and I've never used it, but I have high hopes. But this palette just speaks to me. I was actually debating between this palette and the other palette when I was buying my first palette because this one is just everything and more in life. Let's, let's pull a little finger swatch. That. You know, I think it's going to be okay. That is crazy. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm so excited to play with this palette. Oh my gosh, it blends out so nice. That little swatch just like... Uh... All right. The next thing I got was this, the Nefer, the Nubian Loose Highlighter. Okay, they need to stop with these names I can't pronounce. <sighs> Guys, it's a loose highlighter. I'm so excited. Okay. These are like my favorite. I'm like loving loose highlighters lately. You guys know I'm obsessed with Illuminati, the Kylie uh, Ultimate Glows. Alright, let's see if I can open this without spilling it. Everywhere. Okay, I'm just gonna... Okay, don't go everywhere, don't go everywhere, don't go everywhere. Okay, this is shade, oh, this is shade Nefer TT, I think. Oh, too close to the edge. This is just a little, oh. Hold on. Oh, okay, got a little bit more. Oh. Oh. Can you see that? Oh. It's like a very pretty champagne color. I wish you guys could see it better. It's so stunning. Let's see. Oh, that's a little bit better. It is so pretty in person though. Oh, love it. Oh, yes. All right. That, I forget how much that was. It was really inexpensive though. It was like $7 for a highlighter. Okay. There was a darker one too, but I didn't feel like that one would go as well with my complexion. So I just stuck to the lighter one. This looks like a little bit of a rose gold tint in the packaging, but when I swatched it, it was more of a gold. Oh. I love it. Oh. Okay, 
round 500 million of this video. So originally this was going to be a combined video, but now it's not, so sorry if the beginning is a little fuzzy, but I'm jumping back in. So you should already have seen the first part. Now I'm doing the rest. Yeah. So next, what I bought um, pre-Cyber Monday, but I still thought I should include it in this haul, was the Patrick Star Mineralized Skin Finish in... I don't know what shade this is. Baby, it's gold outside. This is huge. That is a big powder. I love it. Ooh. This reminds me of Hourglass Luminous Light, which you know I'm obsessed with right now. And this is the reason I bought it because I just thought it would be such a pretty all over glow. Oh, it might be like a little too highlightish, but we're gonna try it out and hopefully it is perfect for an all over skin finish. But if it's not, it'll be such still a pretty like golden glow all over everything else. But this is so big. That's what she said. Anyway, this is oh, this is worth all your money. This was 30 time. $39.50 at Ulta and I was I didn't even know this collection had come out yet I'm like off the makeup news radar and I just like happened to be walking in Ulta and I saw it and I was like I need this and I was returning a lot of makeup and Josh is like of course you're gonna walk out with something and I was like Bye. the next thing I got I actually just Got this a couple days ago, and Alta was still having a sale. It was like 25% off this palette, and my last husband bought it for me, so of course we need a new highlight palette. This is Got Me Beaming by ColourPop. I am obsessed with ColourPop. You will see the rest of the video is ColourPop. They're just killing it right now. So a look how stunning this is, like this shade right here is what drove me in. I'm all about a white highlight, oh, so pretty. And then this prom queen is the perfect gold shade, oh yeah. These are just so stunning and this palette was like $12 I want to say at Ulta, so that is key. The So this is stuff I actually got on Cyber Monday, also from ColourPop. It is their Superstar Loose Pigment Shadows, but I thought to use them as highlighters. I know, I bet no one's thought of that before. Killing it. These are actually $4, I believe, so I'm so excited. Okay, hopefully I don't spell this everywhere. Is this anyone else's like scary moment in life when they have to take these things off? All right. All right, so this is shade Weekend with no vowels. That's how the cool kids spell it. Oh, and I guess none came out. All right, well, I guess it's really hard to get product out. I got a little foot on my finger. This hand is getting very glowy. Ooh. All right. All right, I don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera. No. Aw. Oh. It's so pretty. It's not really as a glow as I thought, but it's like really sparkly. You can kind of see it right there. It's kind of, it's like has a really pretty sparkle to it. And for $4, yes. Oh, it's so pretty. It has these really pretty like gold and pink reflex in it. It's more like a glitter than a highlighter, which I'm actually really about. Oh, actually next to the like 
This on top of this would be stunning. Oh, I'm so excited now. We're gonna put this on without spilling it everywhere. That's the only thing I don't like about these loose pigment thingies. They get everywhere. Now we have shade Typhoon. Typhoon. Ooh, this one looks super pretty. I think it's a little lighter and a little pinker than the previous one. This one reminds me of like a fairy. All right, let's see what shade we have here. Ooh, we got a little more that time. Oh, it is so pretty. Can you see it? It's like a super, it's just like a fairy glow. That's what it reminds me of. It's definitely not like a Shabam highlight. It's more like glitter, glitter flex on your face. It reminds me it would be like in a princess movie and she would just look so beautiful towards the handsome prince. I was watching a Christmas movie themed of Cinderella. Yes. All right. Some more things that I got on Black Friday. No, Cyber Monday. Were some new Color Pop shadows. Aww. These were three dollars, I believe. So it was a great deal for some new shadows. Some of them were old ColourPop shadows, but I wanted to make a perfect neutral palette, and I think I succeeded. On camera, this orange one's kind of sticking out a bit, and this yellow one. But other than that, it is a pretty good neutral palette. I'm very excited. So some of them were older, but a lot of them, I'd say like 75% are brand new ColourPop pressed shadows. And they are some of my favorite shadows, and I'm so excited to play with them all. I will link all the ones that I got new down below, so you can check them out for yourself. I know, like, this one is new, and just look at that. It is so pretty. I'm so excited to play with this. My goal is to only bring this to Canada. I know. I know that seems impossible, but it might happen. Maybe. Maybe. But yes, I'm very excited to have them all in one little cute little palette. All right, moving on. Ow, engagement ring stabbing me. All right, the last thing I got somewhat near Cyber Monday is the Becky G ColourPop collection. This collection looked so pretty online and I don't know if I was just in like a ColourPop mood, but it just looked so pretty so I bought the whole thing. Don't tell Josh. So I got the highlighters. Let's look at the palette. All right, I don't think you can hear me. Or he's ignoring me. So this is the, I think it's Savage in English. And I'm not going to try and butcher it in Spanish. So it's, um, it's the Savage palette. And I love this packaging. I think it is so cute. Ooh. So I think I was drawn to this because one... I don't really have anything quite like it. And two, I had some neutrals. I know you weren't expecting that. But this gold color is just so pretty. And it is so pigmented. Like, look at that. That's going to look so pretty on the eye. And then I love this peach color in here. As well as the couple of cranberry shades. It's just like a good looking palette. Oh, and it has a mirror. I love that. Oh, I need to swatch this shade. This is Estrella. 
Oh, that is so pretty. It's almost like a cool tone shimmery shade. I love that. And can we talk about this teal right here? That's a good one. All right, so let's jump in to these highlighter shades. I think they're highlighters. They are, I don't know. They're mysteries. Oh, oh my goodness. This is shade Shimmy. Shimmy. I don't know. And we're gonna have a fight with these things again. All right, this color looks so pretty, and I love the little rose dick on the packaging. Oh, we didn't get enough. Hold on. One more. There we go. Ooh. Ooh, this looks so pretty, guys. Oh. That is so... Oh, you can't see it. It's like too light. Oh. It'll be such a pretty highlight shade, though. It reminds me of Artist Couture Illuminati, which you guys know I'm obsessed with. It is so stunning. It looks exactly like what's in here. Blah. It is so pretty. I will also link all these down below. Hopefully they're still in stock. I just like jumped on it right away. Oh, and this is shade Princessa. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so pretty. It looks like, like an ice blue with like pink little flecks. You can kind of see it right there. It is so pretty. I'll show you a closer look of the packaging. Like, oh, look how pretty that looks. That is so cool. And it looks so pretty on every skin tone. <gasps> I'm so excited. All right, let's get into all of these lips. Comment down below if you want to see a tutorial with all these. I don't know. They are so pretty. All right, so we have a bunch of different lips here. The only thing about this packaging is it's kind of hard to read. We have an ultra satin lip, an ultra matte lip, wait, it's like ultra satin lip slash ultra matte lip. What does that mean? So I guess it's like a mixture of both. Hmm. All right, so I took them all out of the packaging and we have some gorgeous colors, if I can show them to you. So they're all so pretty. Like this nude, this red. Oh, this one's so pretty. They're all so pretty. So let's give them a little swatch action. Oh, so this one says ultra matte lip and this is shade floor. There's probably an accent on there that I can't do. Ooh, this is so Why do I do this? This is like kind of like a burnt orange shade. Oh wow. Then we have an ultra matte lip and this is in Secreto. I think this one's gonna be a little brighter. Yeah, a little orangier than Fleur. Next we have Chola. And this is an ultra satin lip. Ooh, this is like a really pretty dark, dark red. I am loving that one. Next we have Besame. And this looks like a really bright red, which I love. 
and I love that it's an ultra matte lip so it doesn't go anywhere and then this one I feel like I'm just gonna love and this one is Miha oh this is like the perfect nude color I'm so excited probably for the last two but I also really love this dark red it is stunning and then I will definitely experiment with these orange shades. I just haven't worn them in a while, so, you know? So, that is it for everything I bought near the Cyber Monday Black Friday week. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you wanted to see a tutorial on the whole Becky G ColourPop collection. I would love to do it. And I will link everything down below, including all the ColourPop shades that I bought. I'm so excited. I have my own little ColourPop palette now. And yes, I will see you guys on the next video. Love you all.